We are taking you on a wonderful tour. We're exploring the newly renovated Seattle Asian Art Museum on Seattle's Capitol Hill. We've actually been wanting to go check this out. Have you been there yet? I haven't, but oh, I'm excited. It is beautiful. Um, you're going to love this. So the curator, Xiao Jin Wu, she was kind enough to give us a private tour. This is the garden court at the Seattle Asian Art Museum, and it's so beautiful. It's one of the parts of the new renovation, but it's also the gateway to the new addition. And joining me now to talk about the incredible changes you'll see at the Seattle Asian Art Museum is one of the curators of the museum herself. Thank you so much for being with us. Talk about what is going to be new and different when people come to see it. This renovation we had really transformed the whole museum. Now when you walk into the front entrance, you can see the volunteer park through those new openings. And it really opened up the space and become so much more welcoming. But also inside the galleries, we reinstalled the Asian art collection differently. Each gallery is installed around a particular theme and also presents work from all across Asia. In the 13 collection galleries, we presented the installation titled Boundless, really showcasing the vast variety of Asian art. And in the two largest galleries, we have a special exhibition called Belonging. Let's go look at Belonging because I think it is a phenomenal place to start. This is one of the most incredible pieces of art I've actually ever seen. It, you can't tell by just looking at it here, but it's made up of thousands of dog tags, and it's called Some Slash One. Yeah, this is the anchor work in this exhibition by the Korean artist De Ho Se. We planned the installation around this amazing piece. Actually, we planned the expansion of the gallery around this piece. <laughs> We've been trying to install this incredible work at the Asian Art Museum for years. But finally, after we expanded the museum, we were able to install it in this gallery. Right, because it's so large, and I don't know if you can get the size of it on the TV, but it's so large that you had to create a space for it. But I love this specific exhibit, such as that painting right there behind us, because it's a really important message, correct? This work is by Filipino-American artist Osario. He made it in the 60s. You can tell from the styles, it's kind of Jackson Pollock and other abstract expressionism. But as a queer and a Catholic, he was also expressing his internal complexity mm -hmm. through his work. So many intersectionalities, just so many incredible artists. And we've got one that actually, one piece that we're about to show that had to do with a Seahawks championship, right? That's right. <laughs> okay, let's go check that out. This is a really cool piece of art because it pictures an actual Seahawk. And I didn't realize we almost lost this piece of art because of a bet between the museum in Denver and the Seattle Asian Art Museum. If we lost the Super Bowl, we were going to send this to them. That's right. And this is one of 150 Nihonga paintings in our collection. Thanks to this wonderful gift, we're the largest repository of this type of painting outside of Japan. And it's so important, right, that people gift these incredible pieces for you. Exactly. We have one more place I really want to show you. You're going to be so relaxed by the time we're done. Let's go check it out. So to me, this is one of the most powerful exhibits in the museum uh, called The Awakened Ones, and it features three different Buddhas from three different areas. In the center is the Japanese Amida Buddha and flanked by Chinese and Thailand Buddha sculptors on both sides. And really, you said it's a multi-sensory experience, right? You come in, the lighting is just so, the music is just so. Yeah, there's a um, soundtrack um, as kind of background music. It's a combination of chanting and also temple bell and really offers a very special setting for people just to have a moment for yourself.
So beautiful. Another beautiful place I have to go before we leave the museum is the park lobby. It's literally my favorite part of the redesign because I feel like you're floating in the trees. Exactly. When you're walking in here, you can see the beautiful park outside. But when you're in the park, you can also have a glimpse into the museum. This is so great. Thank you so much for the tour. It's just been incredible. My pleasure. And thanks again to Sam for giving us that awesome tour. And we've got a link to tickets and the museum hours on New Day's website. Are you ready to go now? Oh, yeah. I'm excited.